May 2013, Haysborough in Norfolk. A storm has exposed mysterious traces on the beach. A team of archaeologists is carrying out a rescue dig. Last week, just walking across the beach, we found this, this surface and you can see that it's, it's covered in hollows and depressions. They've been washed out by the sea, very slowly eroding the sediments away. We're wondering whether these are in fact footprints, possibly even human footprints. Just around here, you might be able to imagine a bit of a heel, an arch and um, front part of the foot, but... What we have to do is uncover them and then take very detailed photographs from different angles so we can build a 3D reconstruction. If these are human footprints, then really we've got this fantastic evidence for early humans that we don't see on, on many other sites in the world. Three months later, the traces are once more hidden beneath the sand. But early analysis of the photographs has revealed new detail. The hundreds of photographs that have been taken of these potential footprints have been stitched together in a computer and they've created a three-dimensional model of the surface. What you've got is a clear set of impressions. They don't look like animal footprints, they're elongated. It's looking increasingly likely that these are indeed human footprints. But if the traces are human footprints, how old are they? To find out, the team takes a series of cores through the cliff to sample the layers of sediment where the traces were found. By analysing the pollen and other fossils within the cores, they hope to date the potential footprints. So far, the pollen analysis is telling us that we're probably dealing with um, the end of a warm period and the vegetation has changed from deciduous woodland to conifer-dominated woodland. And this helps reassure us that we're probably dealing with a, an age of either 850,000 years ago or possibly 950,000 years ago. Further analysis of the footprints has led to an exciting discovery. The latest 3D models show these prints in incredible detail. And by measuring the footprints, by looking at the length and the width, we can actually reconstruct the height and the body weight of the individuals. And from that, we can show a male and also smaller individuals, which probably included females and youngsters. They're clearly a family group rather than a hunting party. We can't be certain about the human species that left these marks, but we know from the age of the site that in southern Europe there's a species called Homo antecessa, and it's possible that these tracks are actually the footprints left by that early human species. The footprints at Haysborough are without doubt the oldest human footprints in Europe and some of the oldest in the world. It really is a truly remarkable discovery.